What's up everyone, Adam here. Today we're diving into the Soundtrap Sampler. I'm gonna show you how I turn these sounds into a full-blown track. I'm also gonna go through each and every sound and how I turn them into instruments. Let's get into it. So I had a walk around the office and I was trying to find different sounds to make something for this drill beat. And I started with this sound. And it now sounds like this. Next up, we use this sound. And it now sounds like this. Heavy. Next up, we have this sound. And it now sounds like... And finally, we have this sound. That now sounds like this. All right, so first up, we're gonna go with the glass. The glass I'm gonna pull in from my desktop onto the sampler track I've already preloaded here. As you can see, you have the glass sample right here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna drag the start and end handles in so I get the specific part of the sound that I want. I'm gonna go here and then here somewhere. What you can do also is fade the start and end points a little bit so you can do that without it clicking uh, when the sample ends. Then you have the play mode. So here you have polyphonic if you want to play chords. So for example, this. Or if you want to glide in between the notes or something like that, you have legato or mono, which only plays one note at a time. So it can glide in between them. Next off, in the polyphonic section, we have our ADSR, which is attack, decay, sustain, and release. Here, you will be able to decide how the volume is going to change over time. So if you wanted to have like a bit of a swell, you pull up the attack, etc. Then finally, we have the gain knob. That is basically how loud the entire sample is going to play back when you start playing it. In your more options section, very important thing. Soundtrap will auto-analyze the audio that you put into the sampler. However, if you want to tweak it yourself, rest of it is here. So you can set the root key, you can set the octave, and you can also set the fine-tuning. Now, with all of the specific parameters set in the sampler, I can now add effects. So, without any effects on, it sounds like this. Pretty cute, I like it. However, I wanted to add more effects to make it sound a little bit more dark and moody. So, with the effects, it now sounds like this. Which is very nice. So, in the track, it's going to play... And that is the glass sample. Next up, we have the pillow that I'm hitting on the couch. That sounds like this with no effects. And why does it sound so short? Well, the way that a sampler works is that it changes the playback speed of the sample. So if you want it to go lower, you play it slower. And if you want to play it higher, you play it faster. That is exactly how vinyls used to work. So if you play it faster, it's going to sound a higher pitch. Now, with this pillow sound, I wanted it to be like a really deep bass. So with the effect added, it now sounds like this. Very nice. Next up, we have the weird tube flailing thing. And without anything on it, it sounds like this. Already pretty cool to me. I just want to mix it in a little bit, so I'm going to add some effects. And now, sounds like this. There is some slight modulation, there's a little bit of reverb and stuff like that. Finally, we have the ping pong racket, and it sounds like this. Pretty anticlimactic, if you ask me. However, if you add some effects to it, it's going to sound like this. Also, don't forget that you can use all of the pre-existing loops and one-shots in the loop tab in the sampler as well. So, I'm going to show you how to do that here. Backing Vocals 4 from Midnight. I can just click and drag that from the loop tab into the sampler as well, and it's going to import the file. With that done, I can now change what part of the loop I want to use, which is just the beginning. 
You can zoom in here and try it out. And now finally, you can even loop certain sections. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set a loop point, add a crossfade throughout it. So now it's going to keep on looping. I can even make the crossfade longer or shorter. Now you have a pad or something similar to it. With that being used, it now sounds like this. Making your own instrument out of anything that you have available in the studio already. So with that said, we have a full track that sounds something like this. So with the Soundtrap Sampler, anything can be an instrument. And with this launch, we are releasing 1,000 new one-shots together with the sampler. So get into the studio, make your own beat. Peace out, I'll see you in the next one.